Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of Bang Dream. It's Michael, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. No. Yeah. Ready? I mean, does she have to close the door on her? Do you still feel lonely? Beautiful. Damn, so she was the one who ran the social media account. So, of course, 
it, it, she she holds it a lot more to her heart as much as anyone else. That was her other family. One by one. Thank you. Oh, okay. I thought we were not going to get an opening. I mean, because this, that whole little bit, six minutes into, that felt like the opening for this episode. But I, I get it. Once again, like, ooh, I feel for her. I really, truly do. Like, mm, poor baby. I mean, once again, I gotta say, nine episodes and <laughs> very once again depressing. But I get it because once again, this isn't the typical, you know, bandity that we are all used to and stuff. This is a really, you know, tragic story, which we're hoping to have a happy ending, which we know we'll have all five of these girls together and such. But leading into the story of one band to another band and stuff. It is really depressing and, and such. And I can see why, and I've even said it myself, where a lot of people are like, God, I'm so sad after watching these episodes and such. But it's more like a a good sad and such because it, it's a it's an emotional roller coaster. Once again, nine episodes in. <laughs> and we are almost done with this. And it feels like my heartstrings are continuously being pulled and it's sad, truly, like, God dang. I mean, seriously, is leaving her alone the best thing? No. You need to talk to her. But see, my thing is, but any one of y'all want to be talking to me to me, I feel like majority because of the fact is since she quit Chrysic, none of y'all really want to talk to her except Soyo.
Also, I never would have thought she would have picked her her guitar again and saying something and trying to play something because she is such a quiet person. But mm. girl. <sighs> No, it's not. It's not fine. It's not fine. What's wrong? Oh. That was so rude. Oh, what do you do? <laughs> and if that's the same trait, oh shit. Oh, she getting off. You want to see what his sister looked like, though? talking about both.
Oh my god. What are these girls going in? They just like it is serve after serve after serve after serve. Oh my god. Wow, it's complicated with soil. She did, y'all. Oh, I like a skirt. In a way, she kind of gives me, like, older Kasumi vibes, if, you know, Kasumi wasn't always, like, happy, happy-esque. But even though I love that about Kasumi, but, like, oh my god, like, seriously, she, not only, like, older, but kind of, like, an alternate version of Kasumi. Girl, girl, hold on, wait, time out. 30? Wait! And of course, she's not going to sing because she's not feeling it. Oh. Wait. She's sweet though. Basically just said it's not her problem anymore. Oh. Um. Oh. 
why don't I just go as well? Another week of pulling out my heartstrings. Oh my god. I feel like this is now the most depressing episode. I mean, once again, nine episodes in and we technically had our group together. And now they've fallen apart. And really light. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn my light off and back on. There we go. Um... And in a way, you have to blame Soil for this. I, I feel like, okay, everyone's kind of at a blame except Anan, Rana, and maybe Morty. Because it's not really Morty's fault and such. There's a lot of situations where it's like, what if this and what if that and da 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 and such. But because Soyo really wants a family, it seems like it's always just been her and her mom and she's always looking for a place to call home because you can see technically in last week's episode and also in the first six minutes of this episode, she's looking for a place to call home. Now she's in a new area before she went into her school. You know, her mom has a better working job and she's able to afford a really nice um, apartment building or like a apartment slash townhouse in my opinion um, and a really nice building. And all these things that she's getting, she's she's still not getting the one thing that she wants, which is a true family where she can, she feels like she's belonging. And so she felt like that with Krysik. And so now that Krysik is gone, she took the vulnerability and the friendship of Ion and took heavily advantage of that, especially when it's like the moment, and I hate to say this because she, she gives me... Even though I have not read um, Chainsaw Man and stuff, I'm only watching it because I'm trying to prevent spoilers and such and reading ahead. From the initiative of Soil, I, I cannot believe I'm going to say this, but she gives me Makima vibes and such. And because she's very manipulative. And in that moment, because she, it's like she wants everyone to feel what she feels. And I get that. And slowly but surely, she's doing it by taking everything away from everyone until everybody has nothing. And the biggest, like, fallback on this episode was for even Ion to officially be like, well, okay, I'm no longer needed. So if I am not, I am going to leave as well. And I'm going to leave you two here alone. So now this band technically broke up again but it's girls from a previous band and so it hurts even more especially for these girls because I think going into episode 10 next week none of these girls are really going to talk to each other and such and it's like how how mm, how more can you hurt me <laughs> really because like I said going into season one of Bundy um and getting initially to Five out of the four girls coming in and Saya being, you know, the last one um, <laughs> to join with her situation and such. And how I was like, I completely understand that. I get that. Da, 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 because of her issues and everything. And she didn't want to burden, you know, Kasumi and, you know, Rini and Alyssa and, you know, um, Tay with her burdens and such. So that's why she was like heavily avoiding Kasumi and like, you know, saying, oh my God, like, come on. And be like, no, <laughs> no, I'm good. But, oh my God, Soyo. Eventually she joined, that was a good thing, but Soyo, baby. Girl, why you do it? <laughs> like, seriously, I mean, she's, she's being a, bitch and I hate to say that about her because she's a really interesting and complex character out of all five of these girls but 
damn. Like, I get it, but damn, girl. Oh, my God. I'm thinking, like, we might have a happy moment in this episode. There was no happy moment in this episode. And it's just, when you're thinking about this yet again, we, I think we have, like, what initially... All right, so if we're on that, if we're about to be on episode 10, so 109, 10, 11, 12. We have four more weeks with this show, I believe, before we're done. And I I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know. I, th I think in the first time in a long time, especially, like, looking at this as a series, um, or even, no, I'll say it like this. Uh, for the first time since, like, season two and three of Bundity and, you know, raise a Cillin story. Freaking light. Oh, my God. Um, I am at a crossroads. I don't know how to feel. I have no idea what the heck is going to happen. We know that the conclusion is they're going to all come back together. But in these four weeks, is it going to be possible? Is it going to be a little, like, I feel like we're, we're stretching this out a lot. And I get it. It's for the story of this group and how tragic this is for all of these girls and such. But God dang it, I'm hoping with these last four episodes that we are able to get a solution in the right foot where they are all able to come together. Because I really don't want this series to end on like a really sad note. I need it to be like we're, we're, we're in the storm currently. So, if I would like to say, like, maybe the first three, four, oh, this is episode nine. So, let's say, like, the first six episodes were the calming of the storm. Or, let's say, like, the first five was the calming of the storm. Episodes <laughs> six, seven, eight, and nine is the storm. Maybe even episode ten might be the storm as well. And then maybe episodes eleven to thirteen is when we finally get to see the end of the storm AKA the beautiful rainbow that we will see by the end of this, you know, very interesting different take of story because still, I, I still love it. Even though it's like tearing up my heartstrings like a lot with it because it is a lot of emotional roller coaster moments in this. I think that is something that is truly different than looking at the entirety of season one to season three of Vendetta because we normally get these really heart heavy moments for these girls in this series more in the game than in the anime. So I'm really happy and I really have to like, can like claps for this studio to be like, let's do something different and let's make it like this. Like, I mean, I get it. I know a lot of people are like, <laughs> but something about this is just, to me, it's good, even though I'm like, God, this is so emotional. And this is like, how can this get worse? But it's just really good. And I'm honestly, truly excited and a little scared to see how episode 10 is going to go. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction view towards episode 9 of Bang Dream. It's my go. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 10. Bye, guys!